This is your half of the inheritance from dad. That's it? You're just gonna go? You didn't even show up to his funeral and you're just gonna pop in and go? Are you serious? What, pissed that, you're, that you worked so hard to pay me off so that you could try to get dad's inheritance letter? I just saw it in the stack from the lawyer dated three days ago that we have to go meet with him on Thursday to get the inheritance. Well, I thought you wouldn't miss a couple thousand, man. You're doing so well in life. And I was gonna get the letter. I was gonna put this in an envelope for you when you came and got your stuff. Jeez. I could really use the extra money. I'm trying to pay off these loans and have enough to get a bus ticket out to Vegas. I have a job lined up. If I can get out there. Doing what? More nonsense, I'm sure. Or whatever it is that got you this money. Why do you always have to start? And be so cynical. It's a real job. Do you remember the, the company that laid me off last March? Well, they're lining up some of their best performers, and I finally got the call. And don't companies typically offer money to relocate? I mean, they are. I, I'm not not getting the relocation money. I, I just need the, the inheritance, too. Sounds like you're being greedy. Are you kidding me right now? You're rich as hell! You nickel diamond me over a few thousand that dad left each of us. You're greedy! Yeah, you're greedy! Well, sounds like you're not convincing me. Do you remember before we moved in with dad? When he was still with mom and we all lived on Maple? I'm the older brother, of course I remember. Okay, well, do you remember when he came home and he he sat us down and he told us things were gonna be different? Where, where's this going? You said you look after me. This is what it means. Uh, I've been looking after you and bailing you out pretty much since then. You know, in fact, I think that you should go. I can't believe that you have the audacity to throw a promise that I made to dad 20 years ago back in my face on a day when you couldn't even show up to his funeral. I couldn't. I tried. I was parked around the corner. The last time I saw Dad, we fought. Not about anything important. We were arguing about the game. And then before I left, uh, he gave me 10 bucks because I lost 20 earlier in the day. And Vanessa, she needed diapers and, and juice. And I didn't... I didn't think I wasn't going to see him again. I don't know, Jeff, but you're a better man than me. But I couldn't. I, I just, I, I, I couldn't see him like that. Is it stupid? Is it selfish? I, how's mom? Do you even care? You haven't spoke to mom in months. I'm sorry. Like, it's my fault you're always the favorite. You're so perfect. You know, great, great school, and always had a good job all the time. How was I ever supposed to get any recognition when you always outshined me? Oh my god, come How? off it. You were their precious angel baby that could do no wrong. We both know dad would be sitting here upset at the way that I'm confronting you right now if he were still alive. Are you kidding me right now? You became everything that dad ever wanted. The success story. Like I didn't try. And I tried. And I tried. And I tried. Until I felt like I was destroying myself. I could never fit into that. I never could be what he wanted. I could never be you. I always looked up to you. I always wanted to be like you. For dad to say he was proud of me. Do you think I want to be like this? You don't have to be dad. Dad was, dad was tough. <laughs> and his way of showing love was definitely not the right way. <sighs> I mean, as if I haven't struggled to try to get dad's attention. I mean, to be honest, I, I've always been kind of jealous. Of what? Me? Are you mental? You have a way about you that just, you don't buy into the bad vibes. You just let things roll right off your back. You have a way with people that I've never had. They love you. 
you mess up and you do dumb stuff and they still love you. And despite all this, you you know that I love you, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no I'm, I'm being serious. You are an idiot and you frustrate me beyond words, but you're my little brother. I've wanted good things for you. I still want good things for you. So if you think that you can kill it in Vegas, I want you to go. Well, you know, I was gonna go to Vegas and put it all on black. <laughs> you see what I mean, man? You're an idiot. Yeah, but I'm your idiot. Thank you. I mean, seriously, I, I, I appreciate you. Um, you, you know what? You could, um, you could come visit me uh, when I get settled, settled in. Yeah, sure. Do, do we hug now? 